In this video, I'll discuss how to check into a job using ClearPlan. So as you can see, we have our map up, and we're looking at a zoomed-in portion of Reno Sparks, Nevada. I don't have any filters on right now, so you're looking at every icon that we have. And when you move your mouse around the map in ClearPlan, what you can do is you can actually move your mouse over each icon, and as you'll see, a little pop-up comes up. And what this pop-up does is gives you a little snapshot about what's going on with this particular job. So on the top left of the, of the pop-up, we can see that this is a camera scan. We have the Latin long of this job. We get the year making model. We have the last six of the VIN. And then in this gray box, we have notes. And this is always going to be the most recent note associated with this job. So as I move my mouse around the map, you can see the pop-up comes up. Gives me a quick snapshot about what's going on. Now to view details, just move your mouse over the icon and you'll see this green button right here that says view details. So I'm going to click view details right now. And this brings up our details screen for this particular job. So I'll describe this screen going from the top to the bottom. In the top left here we have the debtor's name. Then we have the edit job button. And you can click this button and it will take you into the edit job flow. Below that we have the VIN number, we have the job type, as you can see this is a repossession. As we move down we have three tabs. We have the check-in tab, the history tab, and the all addresses tab. On the right hand side we have this orange button that says recover vehicle. Below that we have the plate, the year make and model, the last visit, who made the last visit, when the job was created, and these two URLs right here are actually links back to RDN. So you could click this link and it would open this particular job in RDN. So let's go ahead and check into this job. So from the check-ins tab, we have the address. On the right hand side we have the total check-ins for this job. And as you can see, there's been four check-ins here. So to check into this job, all I need to do is come down here and click check in and save. And I'll be checked into that job. But before we do that, let's leave a note. So I'm going to type in a note. And to do that, you just click in this box right here that says address notes. So let's type in a quick note. So I've typed in my note. And now I'm going to click on check in and save. So let's check into another job. We'll look at this confirmed job. And we know it's confirmed because it's a green icon with the eye on it. Now confirmed simply means that a driver has seen the vehicle somewhere near this residence. Maybe it's in the garage. Maybe it's blocked in. So we'll look at the details. All we need to do again is click on the view details button. And this brings up the details for this job. So we can see looking over here that it's been checked into twice. So we can look at the history, we can see the check-in date and time, who the driver was that checked in, and any notes associated with the account. We can also look at other addresses. So this particular job has two additional addresses. So we'll come back up to the check-in. On this time, we're going to go ahead and recover this vehicle. We've gone to this address, it's there, and we're going to recover it. To do that, all you need to do is come over here to this big button that says Recover Vehicle and click this button. And as you can see, the map is updated. That icon was right here, but ClearPlan's removed it because we've actually recovered the vehicle. The other thing that ClearPlan has done is it's removed all the icons associated with that address. Because you've recovered the vehicle, we don't want to show any other icons. So this helps you, you as a driver tremendously. The ClearPlan map is not only for drivers also. This is a great place for admin. Let's say for example that this icon right here, which is the 2006 Chevrolet, let's say for example that the admin wants to leave a note for the driver. So the admin can come in here and change this note. So the admin can come in here and say go visit this address tonight as the note. 
and we can also change the icon. So let's change the icon to an urgent one. And as you can see, I did that by just coming over to the custom icons. And in this drop down, I chose the Burning Man icon, which is this large flame. So as an admin, I don't want to check into this, but I do want to save the changes. And this will alert the driver that this is an urgent job that needs to be checked. So I clicked on Save Changes, and you'll, as you can see, this has changed the icon for this job to the flame. Other things you can do within the map is actually discount addresses. So if we go over here to this camera scan, and we click on View Details, and as a driver, you've gone here and you found out that this is a bad address. Maybe you talked to a neighbor, and they said that person no longer lives there. Well, we don't want this address on the map because it's a bad address. So what we want to do is click on the Discount and Save button. So I'm going to click on the Discount and Save right now. And ClearPlan is going to give us a pop-up that says, are you sure you want to do this? And the reason why we do that in Clear is that once you discount an address, it's going to take that icon off the map. So we're going to say, yes, discount it. And as you can see, that icon is no longer here. Let's go over here to this voluntary job. So as we can see, this is a voluntary icon. We can click on View Details. It's at zero check-ins. So we could change the icon if we wanted to. We could change it to any system icon that we wanted. We could give it a custom icon. We can check in and save. We can discount and save. Or we can recover the vehicle. On this particular one, we're just going to check in and save. Maybe the debtor wasn't there. As you can see, ClearPlan has left this as a voluntary icon because we don't want to take that off. It's still voluntary. But now we know we've checked into it at least once. Let's check into one more. We'll come into this one. We can see we have zero check-ins. But let's change the icon. We can change it to any of our custom icons. Or we can change it to one of our system icons. So let's say, for example, that the driver has gone there and he's actually spotted the car in the garage. At this point, we're going to want to change it to confirmed icon because we've seen the car. And as you can see, ClearPlan updates the icon. Now it's confirmed. And we just need to come down and check in and save. So there's a lot you can do from the maps portion. And this is actually the driver's best friend. In the next videos, we'll go over advanced filtering.